Hey guys, I'm Emily and I'm FHSU's Poet Laureate and today we're just going to sit down and read some poems together. Um, I'm going to read you one of my favorites. Uh, I have a snippet of Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti and uh, my snippet, since it is a pretty long poem, uh, comes today from Penguin's Poems for Love, which were selected by Laura Barber. Very pretty cover. Uh, but yeah, I'll just goblin mark it. Here we go. Morning and evening, maids heard the goblins cry. Come buy our orchard fruits. Come buy, come buy. Apples and quinces, lemons and oranges, plump unpecked cherries, melons and raspberries. Bloom down cheeked peaches, swart headed mulberries, wild freeborn cranberries, Crab apples, dewberries, pineapples, blackberries, apricots, strawberries, all ripe together in summer weather. Morns that pass by, fair eaves that fly, come by, come by. Our grapes fresh from the vine, pomegranates full and fine, dates and sharp bullances, rare pears and green gauges. Damsons and bilberries, taste them and try. Currants and gooseberries, bright fire like barberries. Figs to fill your mouth, citrons from the south. Sweet to tongue and sound to eye, come by, come by. Evening by evening, among the brookside rushes, Laura bowed her head to hear, Lizzie veiled her blushes. Crouching close together in the cooling weather, with clasping arms and cautioning lips, with tingling cheeks and fingertips. Lie close, Laura said, pricking up her golden head. We must not look at goblin men. We must not buy their fruits. Who knows upon what soils they fed their hungry, thirsty roots? Come by, called the goblins, hobbling down the glen. Oh, cried Lizzie, Laura, Laura, you should not peep at goblin men. Lizzie covered up her eyes, covered close, lest they should look. Laura reared her glossy head and whispered like the restless brook. Look, Lizzie, look, Lizzie, down the glen tramp little men. One hauls a basket, one bears a plate, one lugs a golden dish of many pounds weight. How fair the vines must grow, with grapes are so luscious. How warm the wind must blow through those fruit bushes. No, said Lizzie, no, 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 their offers should not charm us, their evil gifts would harm us. She thrust a dimpled finger in each ear, shut eyes and ran. Curious, Laura chose to linger, wondering at each merchant man. One had a cat's face, one whisked a tail, one tramped at a rat's pace, one crawled like a snail, one like a wombat, prowled obtuse and furry, one like a ratal, tumbled hurry-scurry. She heard a voice, like voice of doves, cooing all together. They sounded kind and full of loves in the pleasant weather. Laura stretched her gleaming neck like a rush-embedded swan, like a lily from the beck, like a moonlit poplar branch, like a vessel in the launch when its last restraint is gone. Again, that was an excerpt from Goblin Market by Christina Rossetti. Um, there's the whole version online for you guys to find. Uh, I recommend looking it up if you're interested for the whole thing, but be sure it is a long one. It's one of my personal favorites. Um, and again, the excerpt I read was uh, Penguin's Poems for Love. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.